This tarot reading is set with an intention of guidance of how we can heal this situation in the world right now. And I'm only going to pick three cards. So let's see what comes up. Three cards with the intention of how can we help heal this situation, heal humanity, heal the planet, and bring this whole new wave that's available to us from the heavens, the spirituality, the great cosmic infinite intelligence. Okay, the first card is the Knight of Cups. Okay, bring forth your wonderful knightly love. Look, he's coming with his cup, all regal, with emotion, with love. With creativity, the Knight of Cups brings his wonderful energy forward. I like that. It's a great start. So the, the message there for me right here, right now, is bring your love. Bring your, um, your experience, your feelings. Come with your full cup of love, gratitude, and everything that you have to offer to heal this situation. The second card, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, but I am. The second card is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so it's all over. We're at the, you know, we're at the worst point. We're at the, the, the nadir, the lowest point. Okay, I, I, I really like that because, you know, the Knight of Cups is that can bring your wealth, bring your you know, what you have to offer, bring your experience, bring your regalness, bring your love, okay, bring your emotion to this situation, which is, that's it, it's all over, the Ten of Swords in the back, you know, it's the end of the cycle, it's completion. And what I always really love about, obviously, the Ten of Swords is that you've got the dawn in the background, you know, you, 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 you've had it all, it's all over, it's the, it's the end, it's the, it's the lowest part of the cycle. And it's a new dawn coming. I find that very encouraging. The Knight of Cups, let's see, we don't want him whited out too much. And the Ten of Swords, and what's going to come next. I really like that, okay, because it's so apt, isn't it? This whole situation on Earth really does feel like a Ten of Swords situation. It really does feel like there's a... Um, just trying to get the light off that uh, Knight of Cups. It really does feel like there's an end to many things. And there's a new dawn. New dawn coming. Okay, so what's the third card going to be? So just before I go on to the third card, it's, you know, the new dawn is hope. The new dawn is an opportunity to rise again. You know, I've, I've said this on a few of my videos, and it's Anicca, Anicca, the law of impermanence. Nothing stays around forever, okay? This is, the, this is the end. This is the end of that situation, and we have a new dawn bringing in hope, new opportunities. It's a new beginning, which I find very um, encouraging. And, uh, and then the, the other card is, is uh, the third card is the... Ace of Wands, how absolutely lovely that is. So the Ace of Wands, look at that hand coming out of the heavens, a mystical spiritual helping hand bringing an uprush of fire energy. The Ace of Wands is fire. The Ace of Wands is an uprush of doing, of actually getting out there, being active. An uprush of energy, an uprush of drive, an uprush of motivation. So I think I would say from just this little um, mini reading here, you've got the Knight of Cups going, come on, bring, bring what you have. Bring this wonderful energy, bring it in now and hold forth your cup. You know, bring it forward, show the world what you have to offer. All of us, we've all got something to offer to help this situation that we're all in. The rivers run calm with the Knight of Cups. He's regal, he's beautiful, he's seductive, he's romance, he's all that kind of stuff but traditionally. But today, what I'm talking about this evening is the Knight of Cups bringing a whole energy of 
love and feeling and emotion in a very calm and regal way. You then have the Ten of Swords. It's like he's bringing this, this energy, the Knight of Cups is bringing this energy to this situation which is kind of over, okay? He's bringing that energy to the new dawn. And we must all recognise that the, the completion, the, the idea of completion with the Ten of Swords. You know, it's all, you've taken it all, you've laid down, and it's the death of the old. It's the death of the old, a whole new beginning, which um, then leads to the Ace of Wands, which is like, okay, with this new dawn, bring your fire, bring your motivation, bring your ideas, bring your skills, bring your expertise. Let's build, let's construct, let's construct this, this whole new world. Let's construct, put a massive energy into this new beginning that we've got. So I, I, I find that um, very uplifting and actually very apt. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little insight into this situation. And uh, kind of in line with the Jupiter and Pluto uh, video I did about Jupiter coming in and bringing a, a, a shift to the energy. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.